This is Restaurant Training Program at CruiseLineTraining.com. We have already gone through food knowledge training, USPH and cleaning procedures training and methods of cooking. Today we are at Module 4 from the training program which will feature information on wine. Wine is the number one revenue generator for the restaurant employees. Restaurant employees have to develop a thorough product knowledge in order to be able to reach the revenue targets. What is wine? Wine is an alcoholic beverage made from fermented grapes. Types of wine, red, white, sparkling, rosé, dessert and fortified. Red wines are made from black grapes and have a red or blue color. Popular red wines include Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot etc. Rosé wines are made from black grapes in a process where the skin is removed. Examples, White Zinfandel and White Merlot. White wines are usually always made from white grapes but can be made from red grapes as well. Popular wines include Sauvignon Blanc, Riesling, Pinot Grigio and Chardonnay. Dessert wines have a high content of sugar, making them a popular choice with ours dessert. Sparkling wines can be made from nearly any type of grape and they always contain carbon dioxide bubbles. Champagne, Cava, Prosecco are some of the famous sparkling wines. Fortified wines have a brandy or other spirits added to the juice during fermentation. Fortified wines include port and sherry. Single Variety Wines A wine made with one type of grape is a single variety wine or varietal wine. Examples of grape varieties commonly used in varietal wines are Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay and Merlot. Blend or Meritage Wines Wine made with several different grapes is a blend. Meritage wines are red or white wines made from specific noble Bordeaux grape varieties and are considered to be the very best wines of the vintage. Examples of blends include Champagne blend of three grapes, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Mornier, Chianti 70% of Sangiovese grape, up to 10% Canaiolo and up to 20% of any other approved red grape varieties such as Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot or Syrah. Amarone della Valpolicella, usually known as Amarone, is a typically rich Italian dry red wine made from the partially dried grapes of the Corvina, 45 to 95 percent, of which up to 50 percent could be substituted with Carvinan, Rondinella, 5 to 30 percent, and other approved red grape varieties, up to 25 percent. To make rosé cava, small quantities of still red wines from Cabernet Sauvignon, Garniture or Monastrel are added to the wine. Body of the wine is a term used to describe the general fullness, or the overall feel of the wine in your mouth. It is comprised of the alcohol content and tannin extract. We divide the wines on light, medium and full body. Wines under 12.5% alcohol. The alcohol percentage should always be written on the wine's label are said to light bodied. Wines between 12.5% and 13.5% are considered medium bodied. Finally, any wine over 13.5% alcohol is considered full bodied. Examples of light body would include Riesling, Prosecco, Chenin Blanc, Pinot Gris, Pinot Noir. Example of medium body are Sparkling wine, Sauvignon Blanc, Viognier. Pinot Blanc, Guerstraminer, Merlot, Malbec, Cabernet Franc, San Giovese. Examples of full body would include Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Zinfandel, Syrah, Petit Syrah. In 2016 the total production of sparkling wine was 34.3 million. The consumption increased by 50%. The most expensive champagne in the world is called Taste of Diamonds and cost $2.7 million. Champagne is often confused with sparkling wine. Sparkling wine isn't just champagne. There are different styles of this bubbly wine. Sparkling wine goes not just one fermentation to make the alcohol, but a second fermentation to make bubbles. Throughout the entire winemaking process, 
The winemaker has a lot of choices to make that will greatly affect the way the final wine tastes, which are classified as zesty wines and creamy autolytic and oxidative sparkling wines. Light, dry, fruity and floral sparkling wine. Light in taste, these wines have more floral and fruit notes typically from the grapes that have been blended into the wine. For example, the region of Francicorda in Italy blends Pinot Grigio into their wine resulting in a fruitier flavor. Examples, Sparkling Rosé Riesling Sect from Germany, most American, Argentine and South African sparkling wines. Dry, lean and zesty sparkling wines made with non-aromatic grapes like Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Usually come from the coolest climate wine regions. Considered as dry, they are typically labeled as Brut. Examples, most non-vintage champagne, most cava, most Brut and extra Brut sparkling wine. Rich, creamy and nutty. Sparkling wines made with the style come out tasting rich and creamy with flavors of toast, brioche, yellow apple, honeycomb and sometimes hazelnut. This style is made with a technique often referred to as autolytic or oxidative winemaking. The ideology behind this particular method is to enhance the wine with the qualities of aging. Examples, Vintage Champagne, Reserva and Gran Reserva Cava. Sweetened Perfumed. Sweet sparkling wines are either sweetened during the dosage portion of winemaking or are made with aromatic grapes like Muscat. If the wine is sweetened by the dosage, it will be labeled with one of the several terms for sweet. Examples, Asti Spumanti. Dry Prosecco, Valdalbiotin, Demi Seconds and Do Sparkling Wines. Types of Sparkling Wines. On the side of sparkling wines we have Cava from Spain, Prosecco and Sect. In Spain, Cava is made in many different styles, but the best examples have small bubbles and balance freshness with creaminess. The wines that sparkle in Italy, or more specifically the Veneta region of Italy are called Prosecco and have larger bubbles, better for cocktails, and a focus on the fruit. In Austria and Germany, where they call them sect, not only offer high quality, but also a vast range of individual styles unrivaled by producers of high volume brands. Frank Zenet. Gordon Negro. Cava Brut. One of the best cavas on the market with a taste of toasted almonds and citrus. Grape. Macabeo, Sarello, and Parellada. Body, medium. Blend. Taste, fresh, light on acid. Amity. Codorniu. Cava Brut. Taste on plush tropical fruit. Ripe apple and the yeasty appeal of. Fresh baked bread. Grape, Chardonnay and Perellada. Body, light. Blend. Taste, soft with elegant citrus notes. Well balanced and refreshing. Segur of Vudas. Cava Brut. Perfect for parties. Keep the Segur of Vudas Brut Cava in mind for appetizers, shellfish themes, tapas, and a variety of poultry picks. Grape, Macabio, Xarello, and Perellada. Body, medium. Blend. Taste, fresh, light on acid. Bottega Gold. Prosecco Dux Pumanti Brut. The golden bottle protects the wine by any source of light, preserving its aroma and freshness thus giving the wine a longer life. Grape, blur. Body, light. Varietal. Taste, clear, characteristic, fruity and flowery with scents of golden apple. The Mayonetto Prosecco Brut Duck has an intense fruity bouquet with a hint of golden apples. This wine is perfect alone as an aperitif, or as a delightful complement to appetizers such as prosciutto or mild cheeses. Excellent as a base for bellinis and other sparkling wine cocktails. Grape, blur. Body, light. Varietal. Taste, it is very dry, fresh, light in body and well balanced. La Marca. Prosecco Duck Brut. Always serve La Marca Prosecco chilled between 46 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. A versatile Italian sparkling wine, La Marca Prosecco can be served in sparkling flutes or white wine glasses. A full bottle serves approximately 5 to 7 glasses. After pouring the first round, 
Seal the opened bottle with a bottle stopper to keep remaining wine fresh and effervescent and keep the wine chilled to 46 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. An opened bottle should last about 3 to 4 hours with the bottle closure. Grape, blur. Body, light. Varietal. Taste, La Marca Prosecco is a fresh sparkling wine with a vibrant bouquet of apple, white peach and honeysuckle. Henkel. Sec Brut. Glamorous and reserved for life's special moments, Henkel is the dry, sparkling wine that combines the best of both worlds, the art of French cuvee and German craftsmanship for 160 years. Grape. Cuvee of select classical types of grapes from the traditional wine-growing regions. Body, light. Varietal. Taste, fresh, fruity, aromatic with a hint of citrus fruit. Difference between sparkling wine and champagne. The easy and short answer is that sparkling wine can only be called champagne if it comes from the region of Champagne, France, which is just outside of Paris. Champagne can only be made using Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and Pinot Mornier. Maison Verclico produces luxury champagnes since 1772. The house was founded by Philippe Clicquot in 1772. A champagne house is eventually judged on the quality of its brut non-vintage. It is in the making of such a wine that the true art of champagne blending reveals itself. This is an art in which the house of Vauve Clicquot excels. Our brute yellow label reflects the superb vineyards we own and the consistent nature of our house style. The predominance of Pinot Noir provides the structure that is so typically Clicquot, while a touch of Pinot Moignier rounds out the blend. Chardonnay adds the elegance and finesse essential in a perfectly balanced wine. Dom Perignon is a brand of vintage champagne produced by the Champagne House Moet and Chandon and serves as that house's prestige champagne. It is named after Dom Perignon, a Benedictine monk who was an important quality pioneer for champagne wine but who, contrary to popular myths, did not discover the champagne method for making sparkling wines. Dom Perignon is always a vintage champagne, meaning that it is not made in weak years and all grapes used to make the wine were harvested in the same year. Dom Perignon is always an assemblage of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay grapes, although the final composition changes every vintage, at times a blend in perfectly equal proportions, for example 1990 Rosé, at times up to 60% Chardonnay 1982, or 60% Pinot Noir 1969, and only once going over 60%, with 65% Chardonnay in 1970. Moët et Chandon, or Moët, is a French fine winery and co-owner of the luxury goods company LVMH Moët Hennessy Louis Vuitton SE. Moët et Chandon is one of the world's largest expensive champagne producers and a prominent champagne house. In 1973, the Moët company founded Domaine Chandon, an outpost winery in the Napa Valley. It was the first French-owned sparkling wine venture in the United States. The fine dining restaurant at Anat Binet Oil is situated at the winery. Moet was the official Formula One champagne provider between 1966 and 1999 and again from 2016. Moet et Chandon merged with Hennessy Cognac in 1971 and with Louis Vuitton in 1987 to become LVMH Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, the largest luxury group in the world, netting over 16 billion euros in fiscal 2004. Moet et Chandon holds a royal warrant as supplier of champagne to Queen Elizabeth II. Perrier Jouet is a champagne producer based in the Epernay region of Champagne. The house was founded in 1811 by Pierre-Nicolas-Marie Perrier-Jouet and produces both vintage and non-vintage cuvee approximately 3 million bottles annually, with its prestige label named Belle Époque. Perrier-Jouet owns 266 acres of vineyards in the Champagne region. Today the house is under the Pernod Ricard umbrella of brands. Perrier-Jouet owns over 160 acres of vineyards with more than half in the Grand Cress of Crement and Irvas. Tasting notes, fresh and lively with spiraling bubbles, delicate bouquet, and a subtle complex flavors. Serve for all occasions, hors d'oeuvres, 
caviar, seafood dishes with light elegant sauces, or smoked salmon. Louis Roderer is a producer of champagne based in Reims, France. Founded in 1776, it was inherited and renamed by Louis Roderer in 1833. It remains today as one of the only still independent and family on Maisons de Champagne. The Louis Roderer experience is defined first and foremost by the art of champagne making. Crystal is the brand name of a champagne produced by Louis Roderer. In the mid-1990s and early 2000s, the brand became increasingly associated with hip-hop music and culture, with several artists referencing the drink and song lyrics and as part of their public image, including 50 Cent, The Notorious Big, Sean Combs, Jay-Z and Mac Miller. The nickname Chrissy is sometimes used for the drink. The 1974 vintage was the first release of a rosé crystal. The grape composition is an approximately equal blend of Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, while the rosé contains more Pinot Noir, and is colored with red wine rather than Pinot Noir grape skins. For more information on wine, visit CruiseLineTraining.com and download the wine training videos.